Hi guys, my name is Majid, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Carly adapter for BMW. Now, this is the second generation, and it has a lot of cool features that it offers. Now, first of all, if you guys are in the market for a Bluetooth or a Wi-Fi adapter, it can clear codes off your vehicle for anything such as servicing and maintenance or oil changes or stuff like that. But however, this adapter has something cool that it comes uh, with an application that allows you to code your car for all the hidden features in the BMWs that are included. Now this company also makes an adapter for Mercedes so you can do that as well. Uh, although they haven't really pushed it out too much in the North American market, it will be coming soon with a lot more support. Um, I do have links for both of these adapters that you can get for the Mercedes and for the BMW down below. But without further ado, I'm just going to show you guys uh, basically what I've done on my car and some of the features of the application. Alright guys, so when you have your adapter plugged in, you want to get into the car and the first thing you want to do is start up the car. So when your car starts up, secondly, you just want to take your phone, go into your settings and under the Wi-Fi menu, you'll see something called the Carly adapter. Um, if it shows up like that, just click on it and make sure you're connected to the Carly adapter. Then go back and find the Carly app that you downloaded. Now you could be the Carly for BMW Lite version or it could be the full app. So we're, I'm gonna show it to you on the full app today. So go into the full app. And from here you have a couple of options now. Um, it allows you to select which model you have so you can go through and select the kind of car that you're going to be using to code today. So we have a 328i. And then select the year. And then the next thing you want to do is press connect under the connection and battery. So when you press connect, it's going to try to contact the adapter that's in your car and hopefully you'll see some lights flashing on the adapter if you actually looked at it and then it'll say connected so there you go the connection has been established and the engine has answered so you can go back home and from here you can go into diagnostics coatings parameters so let's just go into diagnostics um, over here it gives you a bunch of different options and menus uh, we're going to do a start to diagnose so it's basically going to give us uh, a summary of everything wrong with the car or any codes or faults that are coming up so when you click start to diagnose it'll run through and it'll try to contact all the computers that you have in your car um, some will answer some won't and it'll find the fault as you can see it's found three faults in my car so far and there's a lot of computers in the car but not all of them always answer so that's kind of frustrating but the main ones that you need to know will answer so it's found six faults now some of these i know are there and they won't go away but anyways you press ok and it brings up a little menu and from here you can go scroll down and it'll tell you what the faults are so fault code selected so zero zero um, it, if there's no faults in that certain area it'll say zero zero if there is it'll say zero one so there's a fault coming from my sunroof and basically it's an unknown failure so but it works fine there's nothing wrong with it so we can just go back and even if you clear it sometimes the faults come back uh, the next thing is a system so there's another fault um, in here somewhere and the the left and right seat belt assist are turned off i've done that manually so i know that there's going to be a fault for that just because uh, i pulled a fuse out but you can basically see all the faults that come up and when you want to clear it you can select them all and start clearing so it will clear the faults for you and it actually does it very very quick so there you go uh, fault clearing is finished. Please do another diagnostics to see if they've been cleared pro properly. So you can press OK and you can start um, another diagnostics if you want. Um, but if you're satisfied and the fault disappeared, you know it's worked. So if you go back, the next thing we're going to take a look at is the coating. So this is one of the, the main reasons why you'd buy this adapter. And basically it allows you to code very easily. Um, when you go into the coding menu, it says check coding possibility. So it's going to contact all the computers that are inside and see what's possible to code and what's not. So if you check coding possibilities, it'll do a scan. Now 
Now it does take a little bit of time when you're doing this particular one, so you want to just, um, you know, do this when you actually have some time on your hands. You don't want to stop it in the middle and might damage something or, you know, miscommunicate somehow. So the best thing is to do it when you have a little bit of time on your hands. Okay, so the ident identification of the compatible ECUs for coding is finished, and it's found six ECUs that we can actually code with. So if you go back, it gives you the options for all of the ECUs that you have the ability to, to code. Now, if you go into it, you can just click the little orange buttons, and it will check once again and back up any data that you have in that particular ECU so if something does go wrong in the process of coding you have the option to reset it to factory because it's backing up the data and so press OK and now it'll give you all the cool options that you can have on your car so you have comfort start comfort eject and the list goes on and on and on so as you can see a lot of my things are already active um, I've set them to what I like and you can go ahead and disable stuff or make it activated like as you can see comfort close using door handle uh, so it's not active if i wanted i can go and make it active uh, one thing you got to keep in mind though is there are a lot it'll show all the features but sometimes your car might not have the hardware to actually be coded um, like the base models some of them have all the capabilities however they don't include uh, you know, like the, the handles that you have on the comfort access system that comes with the upgraded BMWs or some of the folding mirrors or uh, the heat, heated steering wheel, stuff like that. Um, you just got to be aware of what's actually in your BMW and what you can code and what you can't. So if you go through the list, it'll tell you all the options. So if you go from, uh, if you click on not active to active, it'll tell you a little description right underneath of what you're doing, uh, which is actually kind of cool. And you can scroll down and choose whatever you like and then from there you can press code and it will hopefully do that really well now you have a bunch of different things that you can go into like the frm module um, again it'll do the same thing every time you go into a different ecu it will try to communicate with it and then back up the data of the current code that's written in the file that way you can go back and restore it if anything does come up in the middle And again, it gives you a bunch of different options that you can go ahead and activate or deactivate depending on what you want to do with the adapter. And there's literally so many possibilities and options included within this adapter. They've really done a great job in going through all the different possible things that somebody might want to code in their car. Now here you can see that I've coded it so that every time I press the unlock button on my remote, it lowers the windows as well as opens the sunroof and unfolds the mirrors if they were folded. Um, also uh, to lock it, it does the same thing. It brings the windows all the way back up, closes the sunroof and folds in the mirrors. Uh, the mirrors can also be controlled separately. Now, if you like this video, please make sure to add it to your favorites and like the video. And if you want to see more content, we're going to be putting out more content on a regular basis. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.